is on. Tap in. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Just about to cut it off. Is that never should be? Oh, you can go ahead and cut that off. Is this happening? Should be loud. Okay. The afternoon late to wait till when they should be starts next. You miss me, child, because I've been gone a little bit, you name. Last week was my birthday, so you know how to take a little vacation. Hey, you know, calm, cool, collected, bring my good vibes back and come through. So thank you so much to Ed Nice for killing the game all week long, child, okay? Doing double duty for me and Ed and me and Joey, so I appreciate him more than you know. But the afternoon situation is back, baby, so let's get it popping real quick. And speaking of popping, it's Jack Harlow on Magic 104.9. Your daily dose of pop culture, the Lituation Report on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids, number one for hip-hop and R&B. Over the weekend, it went from a crazy argument to having the police called on them. YG and Sweetie, according to a report from TNZ, had a little disagreement that happened two days prior at their home that they share in Los Angeles, which I didn't even know that they shared a home together. But it all stemmed from some cell phone drama, probably looking at text messages that they weren't supposed to see. And the cops allegedly had to separate the two. However, the cops eventually determined that no one had gotten physical, thank goodness. So after they made sure that everyone was calmed down, they left them alone and no criminal report was taken out. So hopefully they can get their whole qualm together. And last but not least, Drake, after dropping a bunch of content for us, is deciding to revitalize a soccer team to keep it alive. He received notice that the nearly 120-year-old club needed 10 million euros, which is around $10.9 million American immediately. And then another 30 million euros, which is $32.7 million soon afterwards, in order to say out of bankruptcy. So, Drake decided to put his money where his mouth is, and now he's pretty much a daggone owner of a soccer team. If you want to get all the details about what else is going on in hip-hop, tap into that Magic 104 now. Grand Rapids number one for hip hop, Magic 104.9. And every single year, we be getting blessed by our forever president, Barack Obama. And this time of the year, 2024, he did not disappoint. He's got some heavy hitters on there. I mean, Tupac, PJ Moore, and Sweetie. And even newcomer Tommy Richmond got the presidential stamp of approval. And humbly and honestly, I gotta tell you, this summertime playlist is definitely one of the best out of the ones that he's done so far over the past few years. I wanna know, though, if you had to put on your own 2024 summer playlist, what songs would be included? The fact that Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us wasn't on this playlist definitely feels like there's some songs missing. DM me right now the Magic 1049 app and let me know what you would add to the summer playlist. Grand Rapids number one for hip-hop, Magic 1049. And if you did not know that you shouldn't mess with 2 chains, now you should know because he's determined to get his money back in any way necessary from an investment in a cannabis business. And he's going to allow the courts to do just that because he reportedly invested $1.5 million into an LA-based weed business and he was connected through Snoop Dogg's tour manager back in 2021. So hopefully Snoop Dogg is not in these allegations either. But he was, according to the complaint, promised the ability to get his money back at any point, provided that he gets a 30-day notice. So he attempted to do just that back in May of 2022, and the company allegedly didn't decide to pay up. So he asked for a refund after the business reportedly pushed back its opening day nearly a year later. And again, sadly, money did not exchange hands and make it all the way to 2 chains. So he's like, all right, let the courts do it. If you ever feel like you need to play a rapper, don't do it, because they are going to get their money back whether you like it or not. If you want to get more details about why this company belongs to the street, and why you should never mess with Chew Chain. It's all waiting for you right now in the Magic 1049 app. Central C and Lil Baby on GR's number one for hip hop, Magic 1049. Unleash should be in the time for that 616 check in, baby, because a woman tried to scam a victim out of $60,000 using a fake FBI arrest warrant. She just pled guilty. She's from Milford and her name is Carrie Morales, and she pled guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. She faces up to 20 years in prison. And if you want to get all the grimy details that happened, you're going to have to download that Magic app. And last but certainly not least, campaign officials for Vice President Kamala Harris said that they will consider debating former President Donald Trump in Grand Rapids as long as he, you know, does his big one. It looks like the Trump man himself wants to come back to Grand Rapids on September 25th to have a debate of sort. And it looks like myth Kamala Harris does not want that to happen unless he already shows up for the one that they've already previously scheduled on September 10th. We're not playing games is a quote from the team. So, 
do you feel like it's going to happen? And are you ready, child, for another presidential debate to happen in September? If you want to get all the details, it's waiting for you right now in the map. Grand Rapids number one for hip-hop, Magic 1049. But Flav and Flav is bringing a smile to us and to Jordan Childs during a rather challenging time for her. Because if you did not know, Flava ended up offering Jordan something no one else has following this Olympic medal controversy. If you do not remember, Jordan was stripped of her bronze medal and the woman's floor exercise at the Paris Olympics. And we're all heartbroken. She's gotten so much love and support from family, friends, and even celebrities. And Flava Flav decided to take to social media and be the icon that he is by saying, girl, forget that bronze medal. I'm going to get you a bronze gold necklace, something that no one else ever has. And when I tell you that this man sticks to what he says, he's already posted a picture and a video of what this bronze clock necklace looks like. Because one thing about it and two things for sure, Flava Flav is going to rob for the US of A. So if you want to get more details about why Jordan Childs deserves this moment and deserves to keep her bronze medal, okay, hit up that magic 1049 app.